these kind of things and they look so good and i literally look like the granny on ward seven at the hospital because i fell down the stairs and i need my hip replaced like what i literally look like i'm wearing my granny's nighty yeah. small just a little bit just a Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you've never been here before, my name's Emma. Thank you for joining me today. Quickly, let's just ignore this bright pink scrunchie that I've got in. I literally cannot find any other hair bubbles, so... <laughs> We're doing an 80s moment today. Yes, yeah, so I'm finally back with another haul. You guys always request these and they're your favourite kind of videos to watch. And they're my kind of favourite videos to watch too. We are finally doing a full-on ASOS haul. So I've done an ASOS haul in the past, but it was mainly just jeans. So this time we got a big old box full of clothes. <sighs> yeah, this is what's happening right now. So we have a massive haul today that we are gonna get through. I've got some really cool pieces that I cannot wait to show you guys. And we can try it out together and see what works, what doesn't work, what looks good, what doesn't look good, you know all the usual stuff before we get into that today i actually have a really exciting thing to share with you guys so i have teamed up with vogue and we are giving you a chance to get a completely free issue of the magazine so i got my copy here girl so we're giving you the opportunity to get a completely free issue of vogue or tatler or gq any of the condé nast magazines you can get completely free an issue like this one, this is this month's Vogue. It has the Beckhams on the front, to which I'm absolutely loving, you know, because I remember the Beckhams like being really small children and now they're all grown up and it's mad. I used to absolutely love Vogue as a kid. Like I would buy it all the time. When, I'm, when I went to the supermarket with my mum, I'd be like, mum, please can I get the magazine? And she'd be like, you know what I love? Like the perfumes, don't you love that? When you get the free samples of the perfume, I, I used to love that. It's got so much inspiration in and so many nice photo spreads like I know when I was younger obviously you guys know I did a degree in fashion styling so any kind of inspiration imagery I absolutely love all you need to do is click the link in my description box you need to sign up just give them your address you don't need to enter card details or anything like that it's completely like there's no commitments or anything like that you should get your free issue on me so if that's something you'd be interested in then just sign up below and you can like I said you can get Vogue you can get GQ if you're a guy you can get Tatler yeah pretty much anything I'm sure they have like a wedding magazine as well like a, a traveler magazine so you know I just love all the adverts as well like I love all the inspiration like look at this new Versace advert yes and you know what else we love we love the pull out yes we love a pull out we love dom perignon <laughs> anyway let's get into the whole video so we have a lot to get through okay so let's go okay this is the first outfit i hope i'm recording yeah <sighs> i feel like it's so long since i've done a haul i don't even know what to say anymore but I'm really liking this outfit, you know. So let me get my figures off. Both these pieces are in a 22. This is 14 pound and these are 18 pound. It's basically just like a jersey kind of flare material. I can't really show you the bottom of the outfit. I know that's what you guys love, but the way everything is set up right now, hmm, it's kind of difficult to film in this room, but you know, I'm just doing my it's basically like floor length. I'm quite tall, as you guys know, I'm 5 foot 11, so it's hitting the floor on me. Like, it's not too long, not too short. But my issue is, okay, these are a size 22, and I usually wear like, I don't know, like a 20, 22, 24. If it has no stretch, I get a 24. I don't know if ASOS is like, just runs bigger because, I don't know, it's like a, maybe not so fast fashion-y as like Boohoo, Misguided and PLT, but these are really big, so like, look they're really big like obviously they fit and they look fine but i would want to get a tighter size in these so i would definitely get a 20 in these just so that they're not falling down you know it's basically just like a ruffled hem same on the wrist really long sleeved and it's ripped as well and i got this in a 22 but i also should have got this in a 20 like it's long enough on my torso which is something i struggle with a lot but it is like really stretchy, but I think that is because of the rib material. But either way, 
Ooh, I feel like this is like a great casual going out outfit that you could wear to trainers or you could wear this with heels and you can dress it up. Okay, let's get on to the next thing because I got so much and I need to get this finished. Okay, next is this little number which I just really don't know about. So I got this in a 24 as well because it's kind of like a material that has zero stretch at all. It's a very dressy dress. As much as I love the colour, I just don't think I can pull this off. Like, I feel like I can pull a lot of stuff off. But this, I just, it's not cutting it for me. Like, I saw this on some of the girls. Like, I saw it on um, It's Me, Kelly B. I love her channel. And she looks amazing in it. Me? I think it's the neckline, I really don't, like I love a turtleneck but I feel like it's just a lot going on. I love the concept of the dress though and I think it does suit a lot of women. So like basically this is like a shorter sleeve, this is a bit of a longer sleeve, kind of like a funnel neck that's like draped over and then it is like, it's just above the knee and then it has this long bit here, cute, but the main detail on the dress is the back. So you can see my bra right now but... The whole back of the dress is exposed so you know you be getting your back rolls out or whatever i love how the dress is made and like it's draped so beautifully and i love the color and the material is very good like it's really great material this would last you a lifetime but i just don't think it looks that cute on me i don't know you guys tell me what you think in the comments but i kind of feel like i'm wrapped up in a neon bin bag at the moment okay next dress <laughs> Man, let's thick on still. Okay, next is this little number. And like, I'm just pissed off. Like, so many plus size girls get these kind of things and they look so good. And I literally look like the granny on Ward 7 at the hospital because I fell down the stairs and I need my hip replaced. Like, what? I literally look like I'm wearing my granny's nighty. Why does everyone else look so cool in this stuff and I literally look like. Mildred. This is just a little slip dress. I got it in a size 24 because I wanted it to be big enough. Basically, it has no zips or anything to get into it, so it's literally just a dress that goes over your head. So obviously, it's quite oversized. You have to make sure you kind of get the right size, or else you've effed it really. There is no like underneath slip on the dress. Like it's just one dress. There's no underlining or anything like that. So as you can see, I have my black bra on. You can kind of see that through. I've just pulled the straps down because it has little spaghetti straps which do have adjustable bits on the back. I don't think I like the colour of this lace. Like, I wish the lace was white. It's kind of like a mauve pinky colour, which I don't like. I love the colour of the dress, but the pattern on it kind of looks like curtains. You feel me? I thought the dress was just like one solid colour, but it's got curtain print on it. So, I think this definitely would look sick on some girls. I think I could style this. Like, I feel like if I wore like a black turtleneck underneath it, and some cool trainers and a belt like it would be better should i get my belt so this is the belt that i always wear you guys know i love this belt i've absolutely rinsed this belt i got it last year and it is from asos and i actually think they have it back in stock now in straight size but i think i got mine in straight size like i just got the bigger size because i was i wanted to wear it one round my waist anyway instead of around my hips so i think if you're my size you can probably just get in the biggest size and straight size and it'll still work see i like that a lot more like if i had like a turtleneck and my converse on i feel like that would be kind of a look but as for in itself because like my shape i have like big hips and then my waist is smaller like i need that definition or else i end up just looking like a neon bin bag like i said before next one okay so this dress is from river island on asos and i got it in a 22 and it's just a black midi dress buttons down the middle these buttons are not real, like you cannot undo them, so you're not going to pop out of it or anything. But I kind of wish they were real. Anyway, it's like a thick ribbed material, yeah, it's more thicker than like usual rib. And yeah, as you can see like right here, you might be able to see, let me do that. Like it has a little split in the front, and it, to me it's hitting mid-calf. So it's kind of long considering I'm tall, but I guess you could ruche it up like if you were shorter and you wanted it to be shorter. I feel like this is a really great winter dress because it's like thick enough but also like long and you could just whack a coat on over it and a scarf and some trainers or some boots and you're done. I feel like it's just an easy piece 
really cute also very thick so you cannot see any knickers through it at all yeah i mean nothing much to say about this i really like how it feels it's like a soft material yeah okay next are these two pieces so i got the top in a 22 the skirt in a 24 let's talk about the top first it's just like a plain black long sleeve top it has like little buttons here which i think you can undo them but it's just like a basic but i kind of expected more from it because I can't, I'm not going to talk it out of this skirt right now, but it's kind of short. Like, I thought it'd come up long. Like, it kind of comes up to, like, here. And it's that kind of material that, like, when you put it down, it doesn't stay. I don't know. I thought it was going to be ribbed as well, and it's not. It's just, like, a plain cotton, which it does feel really nice, really good quality. The fit is just not the way I want it to be, though. And, like, it's sitting up here when surely a scoop neck should be sitting down here. I don't know, though. It's none of my business. The skirt, okay, I was also expecting more from this skirt as well. On the picture with the girl wearing it, it really looks like it's kind of like an A-line. Whereas this is kind of like, I don't know, like it's not really giving me any shape. Like it has this belt to cinch you in, but the belt is not really doing anything. It's on the last setting, like I could have had this tighter, but there's no other holes for it. So maybe that's my fault for getting like a 24, but if I didn't get a 24, it wouldn't fit properly. As you can see, it's kind of short as well. Like, if you look at the back, if, if I can't be bending over in this. I can't be broken off no back in this skirt. Also, the buttons are not real. Like, they're just stuck on. Like, they're not even poppers. The zips do zip, but there's no pockets there. <sighs> on the plus side, the leather is really, really soft. It feels really nice or whatever. But if you're tall, this ain't really going to be for you. But, yeah, I mean, it does look kind of cute, but... I wouldn't keep any of these. Okay, next are these two items. So let me just talk about this bodysuit first because I have been absolutely rinsing it. I've been wearing it so much recently. So it's just like a vest bodysuit. Like really soft cotton, thick, not see-through, real stretchy. I think I got it in a 24 because I definitely wanted it to be big enough. But it's the kind of thing that it's like, it's not gonna look baggy because it kind of is like a stretchy spandexy material. I love this. I think it was really cheap as well. So I'll link that down below along with everything else in the video. Now. Onto these. Okay, so these pants are from Misguided but sold on ASOS. Um, I got them in a 22. It's supposed to be a cigarette trouser, but they're just like a stretch. They're kind of thick. They have like a little line down the center. And the ankles, as you can see here, it's like a little cut up, like a little V, which would be cute and everything if the pants didn't hit like hipster work, like length, like what? What plus size woman wants to wear hipsters? Like, I don't, I don't know if you can see because my top's really black, but look. You can literally see, like, the top of my bodysuit. Wow. Yeah, these pants are hitting here. They need to be hitting at least here. Like, that's so good. I don't even know. Is that four inches? I wouldn't know. Like, is that four in I don't even know. They need a few more inches hiking up because it's hitting perfect on my ankles, but the waistline is not cooperating with the ankles. This is kind of why Misguided are trash, and yeah, Misguided kind of pissed me off. I should probably do a haul on Misguided plus size clothing. If you want to see the Misguided plus size clothing haul, let me know and I'll do it for you. These are definitely going back. It's a big no-go for me. Look, you can see my skin's popping out here as well. Like the, the material is nice. It's like a thick, stretchy, yeah, it's gonna suck you in. But this is, they need to be like here. They would be so bomb if they fit properly. Like they really would. Just like, make your clothes better, please, I beg you. Next are these jeans. Um, I got these in a 24 and they tight. I got them because I've never really seen anything like this. It's kind of like a mum jean but in like this mad animal print and it's kind of like an animal print I've never seen before. And I really liked it. As you can tell, I'm out of breath from trying to put these jeans on because they aren't tight. And I'm kind of offended because these were 24. I know they have no stretch in them, but usually size 24 jeans on me, if they are like a, a denim with no stretch, like they fit my legs, but they're big like on my waist. And this is kind of like tight. Well, no, it's really tight on the front. And then as you can see on the back, there's definitely some wiggle room. Which is what I always get in my jeans because my hips are a lot bigger than my waist. Hmm. I just want to know who they test these 
like who who did they test their clothes on and then think yeah let me sell that to plus size girls I love the print but these are not high waisted enough for my liking like I would like them to be like maybe like an inch or two more high waisted <laughs> like if we was hitting here and we fit well that'd be great but we're not we're kind of we're kind of hitting here and that is making like this little pooch happen over the front not really doing much for the bum either which you know i like my jeans to do something for the bum all my fashion nova jeans do a lot for my bum but yeah man they're just really tight and kind of just overall ill-fitting which is a shame because i really like the print what can you do okay next is this lawn number which i can't be bothered to like make the straps longer so it's kind of sitting high right now like if I was legit wearing this, it'd probably like sit around here and I wouldn't wear it with like a vest, I'd wear it with a long sleeve top. But anyway, this is um, a dungaree dress. I got this in a 24 as well because it's the kind of denim that has no stretch in it again. It's this really nice blue wash, which I think is like so cute in 90s. So it has this crossover on, on the front, which is really cute if you're trying to like hide your tummy or anything like that. I really think the fit of this is really good. So. Obviously, it has the buttons on the side here, which is really cinching me and on the waist, which we love. I don't know if necessarily I would wear it because to me, it kind of looks like um, like a pinafore. Like, I don't know. It looks, obviously, it is a pinafore, but I mean, it looks like I'm wearing an apron, a denim apron. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, some part of me still thinks it's really cute, though. I used to be obsessed with dungarees when I was in college. I had a pair of dungarees that I got and they were vintage and I used to wear them all the time. If I can find a picture of me and my dungarees, I will put them on screen now. I used to wear like, they were shorts and I used to wear them with tights and like cool little tops and fashion icon. This is taking me back to my dungaree days. I didn't have high, hope for the, high hopes for this and it's actually really nice and I think it's dead cute. Definitely really good for autumn winter because anything like thick denim, it's great for all women. Obviously, again, it is like a longish dress. I'll see if you can see. It's hitting me just like quite, like not mid calf, but like below my knees. If you can see. Like I told you, this room is really small and hard to like get a full body in. This is the back. Yeah, if you were thinking about it, I'd say purchase it. Okay, next is this dress, which I think is kind of like another little granny chic item. It's one of the things you either love it or you hate it. So it's basically just a dress, little cap sleeves here, little round neck. It's going with my pearls right now, fitting with the granny theme. But it's just like black polka dots, these little pink flowers all over. I got it in a size 22 and it fits really well. Like I feel like it just kind of sculpts to my body and really is nice, you know? It's hitting me like mid calf. as you can see? Yeah, it kind of like flares out just a tiny bit on the on the bottom and it's kind of like a little pleat I feel like you can't see at all. Hey, I do really like it But it's kind of one of the things. It's like you love or you hate it. Am I gonna wear it? Am I not? I also could wear the belt that I was wearing before with this I think that looked really cute with trainers again kind of a thing that you have to style really well Or you might end up looking a bit crazy but yeah, another really cute kind of winter dress that you could wear casually. Really stretchy and also like not a thin material at all. It's like a nice, nice material, you know? Let me know what you think about this one because it is kind of a love it or hate it dress. Okay, these are our last clothing items and I got both of these in a size 24. And let me talk about the top first, okay? Because I absolutely adore this bodysuit. I don't have a bra on right now, and I really feel like it's holding me in nicely. Like, I've never had like a lingerie bodysuit like this. So obviously you can wear this as lingerie, or you could probably wear it as a bodysuit if you're confident enough. I went out with it as a bodysuit the other day, and it was cute. I don't think I have any pictures, because I got way too drunk. So it's basically just a black, um, lacy bodysuit but it is lined on the inside so you aren't going to see any nipples or anything like that yeah it's got like a kind of nude mesh lining so you're not exposed kind of a little bit high legs but not that much like it's definitely covering some of my fupa which is what we like in lingerie and the back is all lace up and yeah the back is just lace so like you will see like through it and see some of your skin but i quite like that because because it is lace like you're not seeing too much anyway 
So that's really cute. That's adjustable. The straps are adjustable as well. And I don't know, I just feel like the way that this is designed and the way it sits is just beautiful and it really complements this whole decolletage area because it's like wide enough that it's covering my armpit vagina but it's also like it's just perfect like the v length is perfect the way it comes out this way is perfect it's just designed perfectly they also have this in a red color i think and i'll definitely buy that because this is so nice and you just feel secure in it like it's not like with lingerie especially lacy lingerie i always feel like it's dead thin and I'm just in it, like it's just on me. Whereas this, I feel like it's secure, like it's holding me up. It's supporting me, you know? That's what I feel like and I love it so much. Now, onto something that's not so cute, the pants. So these are size 24, like I said. They're actually from a brand called La Sula, which I've heard of them before, but they only really do straight size clothing. I didn't even know they did plus size and I think they only sell their plus size on ASOS. So yeah, they don't really have that many pieces, but so these are like a leather pant and yeah I'm just it's not like they had so much potential but they didn't quite get over the finish line you feel me first of all they're not high waisted enough like they're kind of it's not like a hipster but it's definitely not a high waist and on a leather pant you kind of want a high waist now especially if it doesn't have a button like this is just elastic so it'd be so much better if they came up here not only that but it's lower at the back than it is on the front so obviously i have like quite a big bottom so if you have a big bum it's gonna come down on the back and if you sit down like your your knickers are gonna be showing you see this so that every time i try and pull it up so up here it's here down here is here so as you can see like this is not consistently like they didn't think about the big booty gal. Now, the material is nice, it's really soft, but it, I mean, it's not that shiny, but it kind of is shiny. Also, it does make a bit of noise, like. But that's kind of be to, as to be expected with any leather pant. I really love this detail here. It's like a red and white detail. So, so cute. And yeah, like the whole pant is cute and it has like a seam going down the front. So yeah, like the length is perfect as well. But it's just like didn't quite make the mark and i think the fit of them as well they're not tight enough like they're a little bit baggy which is not what you want on like a leather pant i feel like i would be able to put up with the shape of the leg if they were high waist enough but they're not so it kind of just makes it all look stupid yeah so they need to be a bit tighter on the legs and more high waisted but yeah that's why i say they look cute in pictures but they really ain't cute no go I keep looking at this pink scrunchie and thinking, what on earth are you doing? Because it's my cute. Okay, finally we have like a few more bits to show you that are not clothing. I got a couple necklaces from the curve section. So if you don't know, ASOS Curve does like specific jewellery. So yeah, if you're plus size, you know, sometimes it can be a bit difficult because normal jewellery can sometimes be like and suffocate you and the rings aren't big enough and all that stuff so yeah they have some jewelry so this i got just like a silver chain with this big bit in the middle with little diamonds on really cute i really like it obviously i don't really wear silver that much but i like it a lot anyway and then i got this necklace which is gold so kind of more up my street and it's just like a layered necklace it's two necklaces in one which i always have a problem with because it always gets tangled up on me and it's just so frustrating it just has a little cross if you can see that just has a little cross on it which i think is cute if i was gonna wear it like it hits about here not that long but also not a choker yeah my neck looks filthy why does it look like that that's what I got on my day. And finally, I got a pair of shoes. So I feel like this is one of the first pairs of shoes I've ever hauled on my channel. I think I did like some shoes like back back in the day when I first started. But I do plan on doing like a wide fit shoes haul video and just like tips for wide fit shoes because you guys always ask me for stuff like that. So these shoes are from New Look. Um, they are wide fit. At least I think they're wide fit. Um, yeah, wide fit on ASOS. So it's just like a boot, a black boot, black heel, and it has this detail on the back, which I really like. And I like the, the circle ring pull. I've not tried them on yet, so they might not fit. I don't feel like my feet are horrendously wide foot, wide foot, wide fit. Anyway, I don't feel like they're horrendously wide fit, but 
they definitely are wide fit like i've got some boots that are normal width and i've got some boots that are wide fit it all really depends and like it's a lot of trial and error for me especially because they have big feet as well normally for me i'll just get like the boots with um elastic on the sides or the like lycra boots because they usually fit me because there's a lot of give in them but these are like a like a fake leather but well, let me just try one on okay okay they fit they fit really well they weren't even a struggle to get on you know they're kind of tight on the back but i presume when you wear them in they're gonna be better yeah they look good i can't really show you right now because I don't want to change my camera angle and all that stuff. But they fit. Just know if you have wide fit, they fit and they're not tight. Yeah. They're like around the actual foot area, they're not horrendously tight. Usually new look shoes really work for me. That is one thing that I love about them. They've always had like a wide fit section. But if you want me to do the wide fit shoe call or well, tips tips on buying wide fit shoes let me know okay that was everything that i had to show you guys today hopefully it wasn't too too long and we kind of sped through it but i also gave you the information that you needed all the links for everything that i showed today will be down in the description box below as always so yeah i really hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to pick up your issue of vogue or gq or Vanity Fair or Tatler or wherever you read. Like I said, the link will be in the description below to get your completely free copy, no strings attached, no funny business. Honestly, just get yourself a free copy of Vogue. You'll be silly to miss out on the offer, okay? Thank you so much for watching today. I've enjoyed having you here. I hope you've enjoyed being here and I will see you on the next video. Thank you so much, everyone. Bye.